Hi, Rob Papen here, and welcome to Quad. This reg extension is specially built for Reason and offers a different and refreshing synthesis for your rack. As you can see, it's a big synth with many features. You'll notice four XY pads straight away, of course. So let me show you some of Quad features. First of all, the base of Quad is still subtractive synthesis, like you know from Predator, Tor, and so on. But the oscillator part has some interesting new features, which expands vastly the sound options and makes Quad very different from any other regular subtractive synthesizer. Quad has to offer two oscillators, oscillator 1 and oscillator 2. In the upper section of each oscillator, the classic waveforms can be found but also spread function. And the sub oscillator, which offers two waveforms. Left from the middle, you can create a sinus sub oscillator. And right from the middle, you create a square waveform sub oscillator. It gets very different if you look below in each oscillator because here we can distort and alter the waveforms using phase distortion or and wave shaping. For each we have several distortion or wave shaping types. The blue dials control the amount of distortion or wave shaping. With the XY dials or the XY field, you can change this dynamic. And yes, this movement can be recorded in your track. By the way, the very cool thing about phase distortion or wave shaping is that with some minimal effort you can quickly create a new sound and preset, simply by moving the XY pad, or by adjusting the amount, or by selecting another type of distortion. Or by adding wave shaping. Because we have two oscillators, we can also have modulation between these two oscillators. This is a range inside oscillator 2. And here we also have several interesting modulation types. Also, oscillator 1 can be shut down for going into the filter so can be exclusive be used as modulator for oscillator 2. The right side you will find the two filters of Quad, offering 28 filter types. The routing of these filters can be selected here and offers 
serial, parallel, and oscillator. This last mode means that oscillator 1 goes into filter 1 and oscillator 2 into filter 2. This leads to interesting layered types of sounds. Listen. <laughs> I shut down oscillator 2 now and you only will hear now oscillator 1 which goes into filter 1. I will shut down oscillator 1 and now you will hear oscillator 2 only which goes into filter 2. And both combined create this sound. Below the filter is the amp section for controlling the volume contour by using the envelope. Below the oscillators you will find the modulation matrix and some additional envelopes and LFOs which can be tempo synced. <laughs> And yes, you also can select the XY pad to control other parts in quad. In the most lower right corner you will find the play mode. Here you can select poly, which is 16 voice polyphonic, but also monophonic, legato, the arpeggiator and unison mode. Unison includes stereo spread. So, also the arpeggiator mode needs to be activated here. The arpeggiator is down here with all its settings. The arpeggiator offers velocity setting per step. If you keep this dial fully to the left, the velocity setting inside each step of the ARP is dominant. And if you turn the dial fully to the right, the keyboard velocity is dominant. In between, setting mixes between the velocity setting of the ARP and the input of your keyboard. You also can shut down steps to create rhythm patterns. And of course, we have several play modes for the ARP. Included the chord mode. Last but not least are the two FX processors. They are fully automatable within the modulation matrix or by using external control voltage. All the algorithms used are, of course, of the highest quality you have come to expect from us.